Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Coming up tomorrow, Salem College is hosting a piano performance on their campus. This is free and open to the public, and it's featuring famed pianist Sarah Davis Buchner. All right, so joining us now with more all about this is Barbara Lister Sink. She is the artistic director of the Salem College School of Music. Good morning. Good morning. Delighted to be here. We are excited to have you as well. You have the piano and everything behind you, so you are ready to go. First off, how do you know this pianist who is performing? I heard about Sarah years ago from my former um, brother-in-law in Edmonton, Alberta, because she's a dual citizen, so she plays a lot. She's played in all the provinces as well as all the states, actually, uh, in Canada. And so he told me that she was just phenomenal and that we should have her here. And uh, they had brought her back again and again for the Edmonton Symphony. And then I heard her play just this past July in Chicago, and it was at the National Keyboard Conference on Pedagogy, and it, she brought the house down. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and, you know, a thousand piano teachers and performers, we've heard it all. But when we heard her, it was like a revelation. So that's how I know her, and I just, I, I think she's just the tops. She really is. Brought down the house. I love that. <laughs> That's a way to say it. Well, tell us, um, what kind of makes her so unique, do you believe, as a person, a performer, but also just her talent on the piano? Well, she obviously is a prodigious talent because in the 1980s, she um, won most of the major competitions, some prize in them, including the Moscow Tchaikovsky and a number of others. And she also has soloed with all the major symphonies. And as I said earlier, she's played in all the, the United States and all over the world. She's particularly beloved in Asia and is even an honorary member of, of the baseball team in, in, in one of the baseball teams in Japan. So she's, um, in terms of musicality, I've never heard such what I'd call revelatory playing. Hmm. Uh, and we're all kind of a hard sell, but we came away just going, we've never heard it like that so beautiful, so soulful, so deep, and so imaginative. And uh, I've heard an awful lot of pianists, and I'm a pianist myself, so uh, those, those are not uh, just light words that we're saying. You know, she's, she's really phenomenal. She's gotten the best reviews, you know, and she's been on Entertainment Tonight, and New York Times did a spread on her, and all, a lot of the major journals have uh, really written about her, or she's been interviewed. So she's very, very special, very, very special. Well, that's a huge talent that's coming to our area mm -hmm. and coming to your campus as well. What are you hoping the audience takes away from this experience on Friday night? The same revelatory, deep, beautiful, soul deep kind of experience that we did as we heard her play. But not all the pieces are, are that kind of serious classical. She's also playing George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, which she's, she's a knockout. Uh, one of the major things about her as a pianist is that she's a phenomenal technician. She can play anything like Horowitz in anything. And so she will, she always mixes the program up. She'll do a Mozart sonata. Uh, she'll do um, beautiful, beautiful Spanish pieces, five works that I just, I was so moved. I was moved to tears. And then she'll be doing um, the Gershwin a Rhapsody in Blue as a kind of a blockbuster ender, you know. And so the audience will take, they will be extremely excited and thrilled because she walks out on stage and she's got great charisma in the best sense of the word. She just radiates energy and, and love and just this warmth, huge, huge. She's like a, a, a mega star. She really is on the firmament. Now, Barbara, we understand that you wanted to highlight this here, that Sarah Davis Buchner is also transgender and this has a really big impact on her music making. Can you speak more to that? Sure, she is a major champion um, as a transgender woman of the LGBTQ community and transgender community, obviously. In the 1980s, she was David Buchner, and I remember it well, actually, because it hit the New York Times, it hit everything, because she announced and transitioned, started transitioning to Sarah, and she'd always identified as a woman. And so the sad thing about it, but that she turned these lemons into lemonade later, like, like a phoenix rising out of the ashes. She was blackballed. She lost jobs. She lost management. She lost concerts. And she really was pretty much just teaching privately and, and somewhere 
I don't know where, but for a, a number of years, because people just didn't know what to do with this. And this was one of the major talents of the 20th century that was reduced because of her choice, her courageous choice, to really um, not even being able to realize a thimbleful of her immense talent. But that has informed obviously what she does. And she goes around the world, literally, and talks to groups um, about the transgender issues. And I can say this, that she's very direct, she's very uh, eloquent, inspiring, and she has a terrific sense of humor. So she never has felt sorry for herself or anything else. She's just a real paradigm um, of, of someone who's taken an extraordinarily difficult experience in which she suffered and made the best out of it. Okay. That's what I admire. And that's bound to infuse her playing. Yeah, I was going to say turning that kind of challenging experience into something that can be inspirational for other people, not only through her as a mm -hmm. person, but also her music. That's going to be an incredible experience coming to Salem College again. Um, that performance is happening tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Thank you so much for joining us, Barbara. It was a pleasure to hear from you. If you would like to see Sarah Davis Buchner live in concert on the campus of Salem College, once again, 730 inside the Shirley Recital Hall on campus. This performance is free and open to the public. You can find more information if you'd like by visiting Salem.edu.